Deep Japan. Today I will show you the bonsai exhibition and Nagahama Castle. By the way, do you know what the bonsai is? Bonsai is Japanese artistic way to grow trees. We plant a tree in a pot and cut it and shape it to portray the change of the seasons or scenery. The typical trees for bonsai are pine, plum, bamboo, or maple. And today, uh, I will show you the exhibition of plum bonsai called bonbai. Bonsai is not only used for appreciation, but also for mental training of Zen Buddhism. In Zen Buddhism, monks try to see the essence of nature. So, growing bonsai is pursuing the way of Zen Buddhism. So, maybe the monks may see a kind of nirvana in bonsai art. I know you are not Zen monk, but you can also cultivate your concentration or patience or creativity through bonsai. And I think you can feel the joy to live in harmony with nature. But it really takes time to make a wonderful bonsai. Actually, the oldest one I show you today is 450 years old. You can buy cheap bonsai at around $20. And the most expensive one is $10 million. Actually, I have this cute little plum tree and it was about $20. Uh, it had beautiful blossoms, but it's gone. Maybe next spring. And the most interesting point of bonsai is creativity. You can shape the tree as you wish with your bonsai skill. This is the art you can express your feeling like your loneliness or happy spring or cold winter or whatever. Why don't you start from cheap and young tree? In 10 years, it may reflect deep inside your heart. This building is called Keiunkan. It was built in 1887 as a guest palace for Emperor Meiji. And every year from January to March, they hold Plum Bonsai Festival in this palace.
This bonsai is named Furo, which means amazing, and this is 400 years old. This is also a famous bonsai called Rinko, which means the light of woods, 150 years old. After watching bonsai, I walked around Japanese garden of this palace. There is a tea house. That cone-shaped rope is called yukitsuri. These ropes prevent branches from breaking because of the weight of snow. Those little stones in low area represent water in Japanese garden. Thanks to winding paths and little hills, different sceneries appear one by one.
please imagine a river, waterfall, and a pond. After visiting Keiun Khan Palace, I visited Nagahama Castle. Nagahama Castle was built by Kobayakawa Hideaki in 1601. Kobayakawa Hideaki was a vassal of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and he is also known as Christian feudal lord. This castle is not the original one. It was built in 1983 as a museum of history. Cameras are not allowed in museum area, so I'll show you the view from the top of the castle tower. This is Lake Viva, the largest lake in Japan. You can meet Toyotomi Hideyoshi at the foot of the castle tower. That is the remains of water well of the castle. In those days, it was not in the lake. How did you like Plum Bonsai and Nagahama Castle? I hope you like it. See you soon. Bye.